Good morning. Uh, <sighs> what the fuck is going on with my face? Why do I like the start of like a jump scary horror movie? <sighs> Good morning, girls. Welcome back to a new little vlog, a new little vlog video diary by me. Hi everyone, I have tried to start vlogging and film some stuff for the past few weeks now. I filmed a vlog going to London, filmed a vlog when I came home from London, filmed a little chit chat, paddy whack, give a dog a bone. Um, and have you seen any of them? Have any of them actually made it onto my channel? You're watching nothing because I posted nothing. I've actually not posted a video since my Coachella video. So like, hi everyone, Coachella day 416. I'm back from Coachella and I, and I don't know what it is. I'm obviously back from Coachella, back on my bullshit. I did say at the end of my Coachella vlog, I would get back into the swing of vlogging. But for some reason, I've just felt this immense pressure of what the fuck I'm gonna film. Like I loved my Coachella vlog so much. So then to come back and have done bare minimum, apart from work, I say the fact. <laughs> I did film what I thought were going to be a really exciting London vlog. So I will insert some of that footage in a second. However, I ended up getting really, really ill. So that quickly went from silly girl summer to serious girl summer because I thought I was going to drop dead. But I didn't. Oh, but I would just do a little little vlog today. I film it on my phone because it feels a lot less pressure. So I do apologise if the quality is absolutely awful. But I feel like I end up filming most clips on my phone anyway. So why not? Why not just say fuck it? Rawr. Oh, I got a new earring. New earring to me. New me, new earring. <laughs> sandwich oh mm. hello little dog do you love the journey of the juice wait a damn minute they didn't put any jalapenos in this good morning everyone welcome back to another new little vlog i feel like i actually haven't been on youtube in the longest time so i feel like i've actually forgot how to film anything you like the smell of that you like the smell of that oh as you can see i'm currently not in my flat i'm actually at flossie's house calm let's show mummy you can be calm Boo! <laughs> this is how Posse dances. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> 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 little butt nuggets! Little, little butt nuggets! <laughs> every, every chew is a new experience, like I and each time it tastes different. Okay, and uh. What's the, what's the worst thing you've chewed? Probably Bobby's bacon wolf boots. <laughs> I'm down in London for a few days. I went to start my vlog yesterday because I went to a shoe event with Josh and then I ended up coming to Foster's in the evening, but I just never ended up starting my vlog. I feel like I've given myself a bit... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I feel like I've given myself a bit of vlog phobia and I just don't know how to pick up my camera and actually speak to you anymore. I've got an exciting few days in London. I'm actually meeting Anna later when we're going to an event with our management, basically meeting a bunch of brands. It's like a social networking type of drinks. Thing. Don't really know what it is. And then tomorrow my friends are launching a clothing brand So we have a little launch party that a bunch of us are going to. So I'm in London for the next few days And I thought I'd film it, get myself back into the swing of actually <gasps> vlogging. Like I said this morning I woke up and head to my vlog. I mean, I've possibly just ordered a little jar in the juice. And then I've got a meeting in I got tuna about 40 on my, minutes. I've got tuna on my titties. Tuna on my titties. Tuna. Um, but yeah, that's where I've been. That's my life. Enjoy the vlog. Do you not get a tuna card? Then? No, I've never tried that. Oh, bitch. Flossie is out with her dog, so I am gonna just have a little look in her wardrobe. I actually just got off a really exciting meeting with Instagram. I'm doing a bit of work with the guys over there, uh, which are all very, very exciting, actually. I do, however, Flossie. Oh. Flossie has this jacket and if you've watched my vlogs for a while you'll have seen in November maybe two years ago I came to London and I wore Flossie's jacket because I stupidly on bonfire night didn't bring a jacket and we went to watch some fireworks and I were absolutely freezing so I stole this jacket from Flossie and I loved it and I tried to find the exact one or something similar for months and months and months afterwards and I never found one. Flossie was doing a clear out the other day and she messaged me like do you want this jacket or I'm gonna give it to charity and I was like hold that thought. So even though she's not here right now, she has given me permission that I can in fact 
steal this jacket. So I am in fact stealing this jacket. Guys, look how beautiful this is. I'm sorry. What the hell? Oh, I don't know if it's my style anymore though. Like, I'm trying it on now and I'm like, this is... I don't know if it's what I remembered it being. I've got a little name, Patrice. <laughs> I can't believe you got a name record. Hi, what's your name? <laughs> Lord Jesus. Hey guys, I'm with Anastasia from YouTube. Hey everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. 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 Anyone that saw us tonight, saw us. You didn't. You didn't. But if you want to get us brand deals, you did. Look at you, whore, with your pants on show. That's not my pants, right? Yeah, whore. Here's to the freaking weekend. I drink to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Callum, cut this out. No, I'm editing the No, I guess Callum if he's editing a few of my videos. No, While I'm not. busy, I did. No, you're not. I did. Whilst I'm busy, I said, will he edit a few of my videos? I'm not busy. He edited my Coachella vlog, my next one. He's editing my next Coachella vlog. I don't know how drunk you think I am, but not that drunk. I'll bring Callum up and ask him. Callum's been texting me the whole night. Yeah? What does that mean? We can't text and work. You're literally the biggest bullshit. You lie for you lie when you're not drunk. So I don't know why I think I believe you when you're drunk. Really? No. You're literally the biggest liar. You're worse than anyone I know. Are you, are you moving? I'm not moving. I don't know. I don't. I don't like that. I'm not moving. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi everyone and welcome back to another segment of Cooking with Byron. This microphone's not actually plugged in or attached to anything so I don't know why I'm using it. But it makes me look professional, it makes me feel professional and we've got to be professional. Because this segment of the vlog is very very kindly sponsored by none other than HelloFresh. I don't have to keep, do I keep using this? Is this just dumb? Maybe this is dumb. I'm going to put the tiny microphone away. The microphone's going away. If you don't already know what HelloFresh is, it is a food delivery service that you order online. You choose from a bunch of recipes for what you want to eat for the week, depending on how many people you're cooking for and depending on your food preferences it's all online available for you to choose literally so easy so quick and it gets delivered right to your front door I also forgot to mention it's this is why I need the microphone I also forgot to mention everything comes with pre-portioned ingredients so you don't have to worry about making mistakes and buying the wrong amount of things or buying too much of things and it going to waste it's great and helps me out a lot <laughs> each HelloFresh box comes with your little recipe cards as you can see right here I am gonna be making a classic creamy pasta Primavera, Primavera, you know me, love a little fancy Italian dish. Is this Italian? It's just pasta, that's why I'm just assuming it's Italian. But I'm making this. Before I actually get into cooking, you're probably thinking, what is in it for me? Why are you telling me all this information? What can I get out of listening to you ramble on? Well, if you actually click the link in my description and use the code HelloByron, you'll get 60% off your first HelloFresh box and then 25% off your next two months plus free gifts. So, cooking made easy guys, if you want to surprise your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your friends, your family with a lovely nice cooked home meal, save yourself some money from eating out. Hello Fresh is the way to go. I'm going to get cooking this pasta now because I am absolutely starving. Thank you Hello Fresh, for sponsoring this segment of the video and let's get cooking I guess. I'm really bad at cooking and if I can do it then anyone can. I don't know why I'm walking away because the kitchen is in fact that way. So I'm just going to come straight back and get cooking. I mean, the presentation could be better. The presentation could be a lot better, in fact. However, it smells absolutely incredible. I've never made anything like this. Like, I wouldn't really do peas and pasta and all the little seasonings, but it smells absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna give it a try. Winner, winner, I'm gonna eat this dinner. Oh. Got to eat with that one. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm genuinely not even just saying it because this is part of an ad segment. I would say if it tasted like shit, but it's not down to the food, it's down to my ability of cooking it. But this is incredible. Oh wow. Mmm. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to save this recipe card because this is 10 out of 10. So yeah, thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring this segment of the video. Like I said, if you want to use my code HelloByron, it'll all be linked in the description. Go check out HelloFresh, go order some food. It is incredible. I'm very shocked at myself because not gonna lie, when I saw it in the plate, it doesn't look the most appetizing. It tastes phenomenal. Mmm! Mm -hmm. Yes. I did this exact same thing last time I came and got plant pots. Didn't measure the ones that I already have. 
This is the biggest one that they do, but I feel like mine are already in bigger ones than this. Oh. I think this is the biggest one they can do. I might just get this one and see. There's only one plant in desperate need of repotting. I don't know why, every so often I have moments of like, oh my god, I'm actually an adult, and today I feel like an adult. I just went in B&Q, and I was obviously looking at plant pots, and I was looking at compost, and like, I've got some string to tie all the plants so they look nice, and I was just speaking to this woman who was asking me like, well, she wasn't really asking me what I would... She just started a conversation about plants, basically. I don't really know anything about plants, but she's like an older woman talking to me, and I just felt in that moment, like, I don't know, I think I go about my life like I look like an incompetent teenager or an incompetent child in a six-foot human's body. And I was having a really nice conversation with her, and I thought to myself, oh my God, like, she's talking to me as if I'm, like, not her age, but, like, I just felt like she had respect for me as though I were an adult. And then when I was checking out, I used a self-service, and the woman behind me was like, I'm never used this before that like, I'm just watching you to see how you do it and I, I've never used it either and like we had a little bit of a conversation as well and I left with my compost and my plant pot and I'm like oh my god I'm an adult like I know I live in a flat that I pay for myself and I drive a car and all this stuff but like something just clicked in my head I'm like I'm an adult I can actually do whatever the hell I want I can do whatever the hell I want and I'm saying that I always have this realization in airports I had this realization when I went to LA with the first time like I'd done like a long haul flight on my own and I went through all the security and stuff on my own and I was like, oh my god, in my head, I was like, everyone's gonna be looking at me like, why is this boy on his own? But I'm an adult, like, I wouldn't, no one's looking at me thinking anything other than this is very normal for an adult to do. And I don't know, today I'm just having one of them days. I think it's because I'm on my own as well. I just feel, I could literally, dis if I decided right now, I wanted to go, I don't know, why is an adult place to go? I wanted to go to the casino, I've never been to a casino in my life. I wanted to go and spend the afternoon in the casino and get absolutely blackout drunk, I could. But I wanted to go and sit in the pub and drink myself into the ground, or even just have one drink. I could do that and no one will question it. I could go to the skydiving place that I just drove past on my own and do skydiving. Maybe people would question why. I don't think they would. No, I'm just having a real realization as to the fact that I am in fact a grown adult and make I can make decisions myself and act on them decisions and it's just completely normal. Maybe I'm just a psychopath. I don't know if any of that makes sense, but I keep having moments lately where it's like things are clicking. I'm like, oh my God, I'm an adult. Like I'm an adult. One, two, three. Wish I could be part of your world. Yes, Gagas! Yes. Hey, Mama! Breakfast time! I really don't know what to have for my breakfast because I've got bagels. I've been having bagels and peanut butter every morning. I've basically been trying to make a lot of healthier decisions when it comes to not only my breakfast, just my eating habits in general. And so I've been having bagels. I have a salmon or bagels and peanut butter with bananas. I did remember I bought some avocados. Do I have an avocado bagel? I love smothering loads of avocado on toast. I don't really know if it's gonna have the same effect. I can't lie. Can't lie to you. I don't really know if it's gonna have the same effect. I don't know where the bread knife is. So don't judge me for this. Free shavakadu. Guys, my breakfast looks absolutely hideous. Where's the presentation? Oh my god, I put way too much garlic in that. <coughs> Not my favourite thing about being an adult, which bored for me to actually say that out loud. Me, an adult, by age, yes. Mentality and actions, no. But the great thing is, I buy like this juice. No one else drinks it but me. So I can just drink it straight out of the bottle. My mum and dad had such an issue, which I rightfully understand, of me and my brother going to the fridge and drinking fruit juice straight out of the bottle, just popping the carton back in. I do get it, because if anyone came over and started guzzling out of this, I mean, it is my mum and dad, it's a little bit different than a random person or like, maybe I wouldn't care. Maybe I wouldn't care. So everything I just said was absolutely fucking pointless. <laughs> hmm. It's nice. I've not really mixed it together properly, but it's not really mixed very well. So like some parts are really chilly, some parts are really garlicky, some parts just taste like plain old avocado. And it's really nice actually. Lesson of the day, don't judge a book by its cover. This looks plain, boring and sad. Actually, it's the best aroma of flavors on my tongue. I wouldn't change it for the world.